shrink it down till it's gone. Oh well, there's always a second time around. So welcome back, friends. I want to show you. One of the coolest inventions that we've come across. Last year we had so much snow that the weight of it was pushing down and cracking the drywall on our house. So we started looking around for an alternative because Jack and I had to go up there and shovel it all off by hand. And just one side of our house probably took us probably a couple of two or three hours of blood, sweat, and tears. So we found this, uh, I forget what it's called. I'll put the description in the, or put the title or the link to the site in the description, but this thing is amazing. It's a piece of uh, extruded aluminum and it's bent in kind of this C shape and it's got these plastic wheels on it. And the clever part is it's got this tarp that rolls up. So you get these extruded aluminum handles that just kind of snap together, kind of like a, a swimming pool brush right there and you can buy whatever sections you want. And then one of the sections has a hole drilled in it where this bungee cord is hooked to this, this uh, tarp uh, and it hooks back to, to pull it tight. So what you can do from the ground, and we probably do it in, it took us maybe, what, five minutes to clean off this roof? Yeah. We're shoveling it would have took well over an hour and plus we have to be up on the roof and run the risk of falling off and breaking our neck. Uh, is, has been really wonderful. So Jack and I will demonstrate it here and show you how it works, but it is really cool. So young Jack is gonna demonstrate how easy even a young man can do it. Throw that up there, Jack. Show us how it's done. The problem is it's, there's a small draft currently, which means <laughs> that it's blowing itself down onto the ground. I noticed that too. It's like trying to lift a sail. And there's another issue. What? Even though I'm five foot eight, I can't quite get it up here. Are you five foot eight? Yes. You I were am. five foot seven yesterday. Uh, no, that was two weeks ago. Do you need a hand? Uh, yes. <laughs> two weeks ago, you probably did grow an inch in two weeks. All right. There you go. I was very near to hitting you. Are you trying to get me with the snow? Might be. Need a big amount and then pull it back. Ooh, that was close. I could feel the wind. At 15 we had to leave the States again. Dad was stationed at an RAF base they called Milton Hall A black moss on a busted wall The cobblestones made it hard to skate I thought my flat top was so new wave until it melted away In the Suffolk rain I wonder where my sister was that night Back at home under the tan and bed lights I can still see the glow Strange rays from her window Each night As I was skating home I see what you're doing. <laughs> you moved it over. I believe in a thing called love. Just listen to the rhythm of my heart. There's a chance we can make it now. We'll be rocking and the sun goes down. I believe in a thing called love. Touching me, 
touching you, are you touching me? I believe in a thing called love, just listen to the rhythm of my heart, there's a chance we can make it now, we'll be rocking the sun goes down, I believe in a thing called love, oh. So what did you think of that tool? Uh, it was cold. It's pretty cold. Pretty mm -hmm. good though. A lot better than shoveling. Yeah. The nice thing about it is you're stuck firmly on terra firma without any chance of falling off and breaking your head. It was a little precarious last year up on there. Yeah, that wasn't very Remember those ice dams? We had ice dams that were so bad. I, I don't know why I didn't think about this. I had a friend I was complaining about the ice dams to and I, we were hitting them with hammers. I don't think we did a video on that. We were hours out there breaking those ice dams. He said, why don't you use a roto hammer? That's what I use. I'm like, oh, roto hammer is a drill that's like a little mini chipping hammer. Uh, so uh, yeah, so next time we'll do that. But if we keep the snow off, we shouldn't have, uh, have the, those problems. So we are expecting uh, this Sunday, what? Many inches. Many inches of snow. Uh, they're, say they're saying that we may get tw uh, two feet of snow in this coming Sunday, today's uh, Friday. So uh, we've got everything ready today. We've got the generators all go ready to go. and and plenty of wood up here on the porch. Speaking of wood, we have uh, some folks have asked, uh, how much wood have we burnt this summer? About four cords? Yeah, I think so. Four cords, or this winter, excuse me, this winter. I would, I would imagine that when everything is tallied that we'll probably be six cords uh, was what we'll probably have to get through the winter. So two and a half of those rounds, the piles out there. So we probably had three years of wood out there. So we're gonna cut a whole bunch more. Uh, it'd be nice to have 10 years of wood stored up wouldn't it 10 years of wood that would be pretty nice uh, that would be pretty nice it would it would well, it's a pun there uh is there anything else there's something else we wanted to talk about anything else oh don't forget to click the thumbs up if you enjoy these videos we will uh, be broadcasting uh in real time when the big snowstorm hits if it hits because uh, that's always fun it's fun to be cozy in your home and and uh, plenty of food and uh all the things you need and and to, uh, by the wood stove when it snows. It's just no better feeling. All right, we'll see you guys in the next video. Maybe it's just me, but I thought that there was something extra special about this video. I don't know if it was seeing my heart holding our new daughter upstairs, or if it was working with my son, which I'm so proud, or if it was our, our new daughter, which has been such a blessing to us. But either way, right this very moment, I feel like the richest man in the world.